you know in life you get questions that you just can't figure out like what color is that dress or is that sound laurel or yani laurel or how does a pitch in which two tail enders remain unbeaten on 86 gobble up the entire english lineup in just 120 runs It was 6.4 on day 1 and 5.7 on day 5 a shift of 0.7%. In the words of a jilted lover, I didn't change, it was you that changed. So maybe India's bowling was too good. Does that mean England's bowling was bad enough to the point that they couldn't take out Shami and Bumrah? Mahkud was bowling at 92 miles per hour at a point with no slip in place. So here is my second question. How does Bumrah get a field more spread out than Rishabh Pant? Let's let's put this in perspective. Bumrah, who has played 22 tests, scored 34 runs. That's 47% of the total runs he has ever scored in his test career. Somebody who has scored 97 runs in 138 match, he was getting that field. Bumrah should have taken a selfie video of that field placement at that time because never ever again is he going to get that type of placement in his life and on the other end was India's ace batsman Mohammad Shami somebody tell me how could this happen Mohammad Shami who scored a half century at lords how how does something like that happen scoring a half century at lords something that virat kohli sachin tendulkar ricky ponting kalis and ab de villiers have not been able to do mohammad shami pulled it off don't get me wrong here i am not belittling shami's achievement here scoring a half century in lords is an achievement no matter what the only thing i am asking is if a dogged pushed into a corner shami can play his heart out on the pitch then how does the entire english lineup just fold over in two sessions or have they decided to become like the indian team in the 90s when sachin was there match was there just like that if jorut is there match is there if he gets out out of the 22 test matches where jorut has scored a century england has won 16 driven 5 and now has lost one just one this one <laughs> and if all of that was not enough there is still sledging left you all of you were going off on two tail enders jibing at them bowling bouncers at them i understand for bumra you were trying to pay him back for what he had done to anderson in the last innings i understand that i understand aggression i understand sledging i even understand wanting revenge but wanting revenge at the cost of losing the match rather than focusing on the wickets and quickly finishing the innings you let the batsman settle down sledging is to be done to distract the opponent not to get distracted yourself aggression without a direction is the easiest path to self destruction all you achieved through all that aggression was clearly explained by kl rahul the man of the match in the post match conference you go after one of our guys and 11 of us will come right back after losing 3 days in a row india won in just 3 sessions kohli became the third captain after kapil and dhoni to win at lords he became the fourth most successful test captain in the history of cricket and the most successful captain against sena countries and yeah i do have issues with him with his captaincy but credit where credit is due taking four seamers to lords and utilizing them the way he did it was nothing short of a master stroke i just still can't imagine india my india has four seamers that can demolish lineups at foreign pitch four In this year itself we have won tests in Melbourne, Kaaba and Lords each time with a vastly different script. Seems like a dream sometimes, doesn't it? Keeping all the jokes aside though. 
it was just a match an amazing match a mind blowing match but just a match there are three more matches to go and a lot can happen in those matches but none of that is going to change one single fact the fact that i had six people in my office surrounding my mobile at 8 o'clock at night not going home just to make sure that they don't miss anything while traveling test cricket which was announced dead 13 years back whose autopsy was performed 5 years back that test cricket is not only alive but it is thriving and to anyone who henceforth tells me that test cricket is boring <laughs> i'm just going to show them this video thank you for watching this video i know this video is a bit different from the usual one but i really wanted to talk about this match so do give me your feedback should i make more of this till then don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you for watching